I'm fascinated by the microphone. <laughs> Don't make your star. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I was looking forward to this moment. This is for my sure. moment to shine. For sure. I'm joined uh, by Maria Ivan from the Hilton Vienna Park. We are currently in beautiful sunny Vienna. Uh, welcome to the Event Makers Podcast. Maria, how are you? Very good. <laughs> nice to meet Hello, you. Hello. Welcome to Vienna once again. Happy to have you here. Happy to be here. And happy that you can enjoy the last days of uh, summer. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So uh, you nice. usually don't cheers with water, but, but we have to go just oh, yeah. now. I mean, cheers. it's early enough, anyways. I think so. I think we cannot so. do whiskey. Mm. Maybe later. Correct. <laughs> You've shown me Vienna. Maybe I can bring a bit of the Scottish flavour to. Yeah, correct. The right. For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> In Vienna, I've found a fascinating, vibrant city. Very relaxed pace of life. Right. Uh, beautiful, beautiful city. You know and. Certainly something where I can see an industry bringing their events to, for sure. Like, yeah. What is Vienna for you? What is Vienna for me? Um, it's the most, so first of all, it's not only for me, it's for a lot of people, the most livable city. Uh, it has been ranked several years in a row, wow. so uh, this is why I also love Vienna. But it's not only that, it's the people, it's the many things you can do when you're coming here, not only for uh, business purpose, but also for leisure. You have uh, starting from so many parks, so many places where you can go hiking. We were just talking about the winery, yeah. so you can go up the hills, taste a typical Austrian wine just, um, I don't know, five, ten kilometers away from the middle of the city. You have beautiful architecture. Somebody told me once they came to visit Vienna also for the first time and they were telling me this is like a museum but yeah. only it's outside. Yeah. So it's really, really <laughs> beautiful aesthetically speaking. You have a lot of events, you have a lot of conferences and citywide conferences and events as well. A lot of things are going on. So Vienna is so much for me. It's the city where I live in, yeah. where where uh, I'm going out every day and I'm saying, oh my God, it's beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's for really, sure. really nice. And for somebody like myself who's traveled a lot recently and hearing this, seeing the museum that's outside, yeah, yeah. I've heard that about Paris. However, Paris is so vast. <laughs> the same yeah. with Rome, beautiful yeah. as well. Yeah. But again, yeah. whereas Vienna, I found just so easy to walk around. It is, you know? right, yeah. And for a, a, a lot of events, and they should have a focus on sustainability. Right. I think it's very much yes. a very good way where we're, yeah. we're reducing the transfers and things Correct. like that. Yeah. You were telling me earlier the Hilton Vienna Park's doing a lot for sustainability. Right. Um, we started, uh, it, we, we didn't start two years ago when it all got very, very uh, fancy and trendy. We started uh, many years ago because being part of a chain, yep. it's also pretty complicated to go away from a couple of things, starting from local ingredients. When an American travels to uh, a Hilton hotel, even if it's in Vienna, even if it's somewhere in, I don't know, LA, they want or they expect a certain kind of food or ingredients like ketchup, like yeah. Heinz ketchup for yeah, example, yeah, yeah. which you don't get in Vienna. You get tomato sauce produced by some <laughs> local uh, guy next to the city. So this Perfect. is all um, very important steps, steps that we had to do and yep. thank God we're getting there. Um, for example, in our a la carte restaurant, all the ingredients that are being used are coming from 100 kilometer radius and our executive chef is really taking care of that and is really focusing on that. Yeah. Then, uh, apart from the bees that we have on the rooftop, <laughs> most of the hotels in Vienna have bees on the rooftop, but that's also a very nice um, also story to tell and yeah, also a yeah. nice thing because you can provide the honey, yep. uh, the Viennese honey to the guests. Yep. And apart from that, you will never see plastic bottles in, yep. in the hotel. You've seen also in the room, we have these glass uh, carafes, which you can fill with the water yep. from the tap. Perfect. So that you can drink in, uh, in the room. Um, we are doing carbon uh, free events. We're working with South Pole. This is like a Hilton um, project, so to speak, where Hilton has partnered up with South Pole and um, we basically set off the amount of carbon dioxide which is produced with the events here by um, supporting several projects uh, yep. with South Pole. And so many other things. I mean, I can think of 
uh, this park pit stop which we have, yep. which is also uh, a step towards being a little bit more sustainable. We all know the mini bars are full with uh, stuff that at the end of the day might get thrown away because it's getting uh, expired. So we said, okay, the mini bar should be empty and we set up like a small in-store yep. in the hotel where people can buy not only um, drinks and snacks but also souvenirs Local which produce. are also Viennese yeah yeah I saw the uh, the olive oil which I had for breakfast one day it was for sale there <laughs> very very good yes as well. and we kind of we tend now not to use olive oil but um, seeds oil okay, pumpkin yeah, seeds yeah. oil nice, because nice, this nice, is nice. also very typical for Austria everybody yeah, loves okay, pumpkins okay. Uh, you will see also in the supermarket so it's, yeah, it's yeah. all um, also targeted around sustainability but also working with the local people the local yeah. suppliers yeah so it's uh, a lot to talk about nice for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. and in terms of you have three hotels in vienna correct so this is where we are now it's the hilton vienna park it's right in the city center 10 minutes away from the saint stephen's cathedral it's a beautiful park the beautiful, beautiful view park ahead. beautiful Good. view an amazing location because we're also just across from the city airport yep. train which can bring you directly to the airport in only 15 minutes um, then we have uh, the boutique hotel the hilton vienna plaza with 254 rooms which I was telling you it's a little bit more elegant, it's in this uh, style of the 20s, um, everything is a little bit smaller and the attention to detail is a little bit uh, more important there. Uh, then we have the Hilton Vienna Danube Waterfront which is the only hotel in Vienna which is right on the banks of the river Danube. Yeah. Uh, the biggest standard city, uh, standard rooms in the city, 40 square meters. Yeah. We have a nice pool uh, outside. It's a very nice location as well because you're still very close to the city center but everything around you is free yeah. and you have a lot of nature and you have a nice terrace. Um, and the chef there is crazy about barbecuing. <laughs> so every Friday there, it's like the barbecue day. Uh, it's it's I'm very nice. Back and yes, for definitely, sure. <laughs> definitely. For sure. So yeah, these are our three properties yeah. in Vienna. And the cool part is that each and every one speaks to uh, a certain category of clients. Yeah, and for sure. when it comes to events, you can think of any size, any kind of request the client might have, and then we would find the perfect hotel for, for, sure, yeah. for this event. Yeah. Definitely. No, it's been great to hear about Vienna and as a destination and knowing full well what you at the Hilton yes. are doing. It's, yeah, um, it's definitely a very, very nice city. For sure, certainly. Something that um, great for meetings, great for incentives, right. you know, for yes. sure. And one thing to add, uh, the city of Vienna has started the so-called Vienna Meeting Fund. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about it. This is um, really financial um, support, oh, yeah, which okay. is offered to uh, meeting organizers who want to do something in Vienna. And the support can uh, be up to 60,000 euros. Okay. The only um, prerequisite, let's say, is that you don't do uh, an incentive so anything yep. but incentives okay. are really supported it's it's like a very easy process where you just uh, submit a few things like the contract with the hotel yeah, yeah, yeah. and where you're uh, doing the event and so and you're getting at least uh, a bit of support yeah. from the city and you don't have to pay it back it's just yeah, yeah like an incentive for um, organizers of to come course, yeah, and, yeah, sure. and do events in Vienna, which is amazing. And uh, this is unique in Europe. No other city has been doing this. And yep. they started when Corona started and it was supposed to end uh, in 2023. And now they just announced a few weeks ago or a month ago, they extended it until well, 2024, which is amazing. There you go, an explosive. And this, is, this also <laughs> shows the, the amount of support. For sure the event organizers are getting from the city and from yep. the authorities to come here to um, plan an event, a meeting uh, in, in Vienna. 
I spoke to Simon at the Convention Bureau and he's been very, very um, helpful in helping tell me where to go, what right. to see, the yes. best to speak to, yeah. uh, to yourself as well, yeah. you know, yeah. and um, it's grateful for the support that the Convention Bureau yes. are, are It's are really a great, great, I mean, not, it's not a unique thing to have a Convention Bureau in, uh, in a capital city, but the amount of work these guys are doing is tremendous and they're marketing Vienna so well, it's, it it's really amazing, yes. And you did a very good job of marketing it yourself, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Maria, thank you very much. Thank you as well for thank coming, you. Craig. And uh, best of luck with the podcast. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> I yes. hope I did my part well. You did it very well. Thank and I'm you sure so much. the viewers will agree. <laughs>